A moving musical tribute to the blues man, Purvis Spann. Family and friends gathered today to remember the legendary Chicago disc jockey. CBS 2's Sade Gray takes us there. Chicago said goodbye to broadcast and music legend Purvis Spann. Even though many said their farewells, others reflected on the impact the blues man had on Chicago and across the country. I give you Powerful voices bellowing inside Apostolic Church of God. All to celebrate the life of 89-year-old Purvis Spann. So God, that, that Purvis lived long enough to see his children grow up mature and run his business, drawing the great tradition of communications. Well, thank you for letting us have him. Spann had a lengthy battle with Alzheimer's disease. Purvis Spann was cut from another cloth, and we are losing it. Mr. Spann was a visionary. He began his radio career in the 1950s and later purchased WVON in the late 70s. That was the place where we went to radio wise for all of the disc jockeys and they were also very supportive of the community and a lot of that had to do with Purvis Band. The Mississippi native helped legends like B.B. King launch his career and was known as the blues man. Reverend Al Sharpton says Span was much more than a disc jockey. He was the one that would let us do our politics. It wouldn't have been a Harold Washington without a WVON. That was Purvis Span. Chicagoans say he was a hero in the community. He was one of those people that knew Black Lives Matter way back when. He didn't just find it out in the last four or five years. Although he's gone, his legacy still stands strong. He's beloved. And when you have people who gain your respect and your love. That makes you important. Chicagoans say Spann was a huge supporter of churches and the community, and whenever anything was going on, WVON was there, including Purvis Spann. Reporting in Woodlawn, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News.